Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to find the rate of uh, uh, financial, financial questions. So many of the time we have worked on how to find out the present value, future value, when the interest rate is known, when the discount rate is known. However, it could be happen that we have all the other information available. We know the present value, we know the future value, we know the payment. The only thing we don't know is the interest rate, the discount rate. So how can we find the discount rate? So in this example, uh, we want to use, uh, one way you can do it is to use your financial calculator. So this is the one question. So suppose you borrowed uh, $10,000 from your parents to buy your car, okay? So that means now, right? Now you borrow the money, so present value, okay? So you receive the money from your parents. Let's say this is a positive, okay? You receive the money, present value is $10,000. And uh, I will make this fund larger, okay? <clears throat> and now um, you agree to pay this amount of money per month. So your payment, your payment, I need to make this font larger. So your payment is $207.58. But this time you pay your parents, right? So when you get a loan, $10,000, you receive the money from your parents, right? So the money goes to you. So I use the positive number, right? But now you are paying back to your parents. So you have to be careful here. This one should be a negative number, okay? And for 60 months, the N would be equals to 60. And the question is asking, what is the monthly interest rate? So they want to know the interest rate. The interest rate. Okay, so now first we can use a financial calculator, right? Uh, so you entered, you press, you enter 60, press the button N, so you assign N equals 60. So you enter the 10,000 and then press the button, PV button, assign this value to the present value. And when you enter the payment, make sure you, you are aware of the negative sign. So you entered, you have a negative $207.58 and you press the payment button. And then you click uh, the button at the left top corner, the CPT representing compute. So you, you press the CPT button and then press I slash Y. This gives you the interest rate 0.75%, okay? Okay, so this is one way, but I'm going to show you a different way to do this, okay? So in Excel, they have a lot of built-in uh, financial uh, calcula calculation formulas, okay? So we can use that. So in this question, let's use Excel to work on this. Like we mentioned, the present value is 10,000, N is 60. Uh, interest rate, we don't know. Let's just put it zero now, because we this is what we are looking for, payment, okay? So in Excel, there is a payment function, okay? So the payment PMT, payment function is, uh, so basically first uh, there are different parameters, parameters, okay? The first parameters is read. So that's this one. The second parameters is NPR. So that's the N. And the next one is the present value, which is 10,000. And the next one is future value. So you're gonna pay the bike, right? Future value is zero right? You pay the bike. And the type, here type zero is the, all, uh, this type zero will be the uh, ordinary annuity, okay? So we assume this is zero. If it's annuity due, this type will be one, okay? In this case, it's ordinary annuity. So that is my uh, payment, okay? So, 
of course, the interest rate is not zero, right? We want to know what's the interest rate. And we want, our target, this payment is negative 207.58, right? So we want it to be, we want the payment to be negative 207.58. So how can we do this? Well, we are going to do something called trial and error, okay? So this is one approach, right? Uh, in the textbook, they introduce this trial and error approach. So what are we gonna do here? Well, let's make this to be uh, 1%, okay? Uh, point zero. Uh, let's make this point zero one. Okay. Oh, that's too big. That's too big. It's much bigger than the two seven. So you have to reduce this number. Point zero five still too big, okay? So 0 0.001, okay? So now it's getting closer, okay? So it's getting closer. So I need to keep doing this, it's still too big. 0 0.009, no, sorry, 0 0.009. It's getting closer, right? So you can see, you just use this trial and error balance, right? So once you put a 0 0.0007, now this is less under, right? So now you need to increase the interest, right? This is trial and error. You try and see the payment compared to the target. This is too much work, right? So I'm going to teach you uh, something that you can do this very quickly. The one I'm going to teach you is called the what if function uh, in the Excel. If you go to Excel, you go to data, okay? And then you see uh, what if analysis, click what if analysis, and then go, go seek, okay? So the go seek is we want to set this cell, okay? This is our goal. Our goal is to set this cell to be negative 207. 0.58, okay? So our goal is to set uh, the cell C6, this number, to be the target. By changing which number, we want to change the interest rate, right? So we're gonna change the interest rate and we want to reach a target, this number to be this number. Okay, so then go, okay, done, okay? See, the computer is very smart. So right away, the computer tells me that uh, the interest rate should be 0.0074994, right? And this number is exactly as what you will get from the financial calculator, right? So just want to introduce this useful tool for you. So you go to, in Excel, you go to data type, go to data, go to what if analysis, click, go to go seek. Okay, go seek. So I hope you find this useful.